This is not a Telecaster. I bought Fender's cheapest guitar, and it's a Squire guitar, and uh, it's made by Fire. 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 Let's make things confusing by spelling Squire and Esquire completely differently. Hey, hey there, how you doing? I see comments a lot about people getting guitars, and they say things like, "This guitar is so awesome that I can't put it down." And then I'm usually like, "Really?" In the shower, you know, you bring it in the shower or on the toilet when you're driving. They always have it. They can't put it down. Anyways, I'm sure they are lying and just exaggerating. I get it. It's just a, you know a saying. And I've probably told people 18 billion times to stop exaggerating. So this is the new Squire Sonic Esquire H from Fender. And it's part of their new Squire Sonic series, replacing the bullet line. Of all the new models in the Squire series, this one stood out to me the most. It's just a, you know, a super basic rocker machine, one humbucker. And that's what I liked about it. I'm like, cool, look at the controls, super simple. I bought it online on Reverb from a shop in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Earth. That's near where they filmed The Last of Us. If you wanna get one, I'll have affiliate links in the description. I'll drop that stuff in the description. You can check it. Don't ever do that again. That's not cool. It was the only place I could find one in stock. They should probably have them available everywhere soon. And as a bonus, I saved some taxes because I only had to pay Alberta taxes versus Ontario because I live in Ontario, also on earth. So I bought the guitar. So I bought the guitar. So I bought the guitar, but essentially this video is sponsored by you, yours guys's. But what I mean by that is my Patreon members. That is so huge thanks to you if you haven't taken a look at my patreon page take a look in the description you'll find stuff that you won't see here on youtube bonus content place you know and you find things like videos and uh, photos and words and paragraphs sentences all those kinds of things what else could it be right it has to be digital so go check it out after the video you can try out a, a free seven day trial for fun fun not guaranteed that's a guarantee <laughs> Okay, the bullet name is gone, has been replaced by Sonic. You know, this is part of Fender's Trade Your Guns for Hedgehogs campaign. Take it easy, it's just a joke. I can only assume the word bullet just doesn't work as well these days. I guess, you know, it's too controversial, so. Sonic sounds great, and these guitars have blast processing. Just ask Sega what that means. My brain is stuck in the 90s. <laughs> Okay, let's go top to bottom, talk specs. Let me just pick it up here, grab it. I'll just hold it and you can look at it. First of all, when I weighed it, it weighs in at seven pounds, 10 ounces, which is 3.4 kilograms. And the body is slimmer. So that's uh, this measurement you can see on screen here. So really, I guess it's not super light, but it's lighter. But since it's smaller, it's kind of comparable to the full size. So yeah, does that make any sense? This one's in Arctic white and there's also an ultraviolet color option. I actually wanted to get the purple one first, but I just couldn't find one. So and I said ultraviolet, not ultra violent, like Mortal Kombat or Robocop or uh, something else, ultraviolet. Top to bottom, standard Squire tuners, C-shaped maple neck and fretboard. Looks like a one piece when you look up close and it has a skunk stripe on the back and it's thicker than I expected. It's nice. It's got a good feeling to it. Uh, poplar body, it's thinner, like I mentioned, but it's not crazy light. Poplar isn't necessarily a light wood. 21 narrow tall frets, top loading bridge, so it's not a string through, and one ceramic humbucker pickup, one volume and one tone, and that's it. You may notice the control plate is reversed when you compare it to a traditional Telecaster. It's super simple. It's a simple rocker. Let's uh, dig into the guitar. We'll take the pickguard off. I want to see if there's anything under the pickguard. Do they just leave it? And uh, no, look at that. It's routed for a humbucker, which is awesome. I know a lot of people are gonna say, awesome. And they're gonna say, you're awesome. And I'm gonna say, you're awesome. No, you are. So what that means is you can mod away. Great modding platform. If you wanna add a humbucker in there and redo the wiring or whatever, you're good to go. Let's pop the control plate off and have a look at what we get inside. It's got mini alpha pots. 
Where's the selector switch? It's gone. There isn't one. Shielded cavity, right? The paint is, uh, they got the shielding paint. Pretty messy around the, uh, the output jack. Look at that. It's like the wood got all chipped away at one part. Uh, anyways, it's kind of what I would expect. This is one of the messier ones I've ever seen, but, um, and the pickup resistance, I took a measurement there. You can see it there. 8.16 Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. So that's the specs of the guitar. I'll play through the different pickup selections so you can hear all of them. That's a joke. What I'll do is I'll just, you know, play some tones and play with the knobs and uh, play some stuff. <laughs> Okay, so overall, it's pretty decent. It's what I expected. The uh, tone control on this one's a little bit tight, the pot. The action is a little bit higher than I, I like. All things that are correctable in a basic setup that I've noticed. No sharp frets. Um, good modding platform, right? The tone sounded good with this humbucker. The neck isn't thick, but it's also not super thin, so I think it might be comfortable for a lot of people. It has like that satin wood feeling, not like the super satiny feeling like you get on a player, but. I'm talking about a Fender Player Series, so let me know in the comments what you think about the guitar. Do I recommend it? Sure. Again, at this level, you know, and this price, there are lemons. It happens. This one is all right. And, uh, I've been pretty lucky to get good ones. So if you want to get one, I will drop some affiliate links in the description. Like I mentioned earlier, they support the channel. If you use them, thanks again to my Patreon members for sponsoring this guitar purchase. Check out my Patreon if you want to recommend any guitars you want to see in the future. Go check it out. And as always, play guitar and have fun, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Serenity now.